The navel orange worm moth, Amelois transistella, was first described in Oaxaca and Hermosillo, Mexico, and has been confirmed to be known in the USA since documented in the Arizonian Salt River Valley orange groves in 1921, when it was regarded as a secondary pest feeding on navel oranges. 21 years later, in 1942, it was first documented in Southern California on Heteromeles arbutifolia, also known as Toyin or California holly, and started becoming an extreme nuisance in Californian walnut cultivation half a decade later in 1947. 32 years after, in 1979, it was estimated that the navel orange worm moth cost about $30 million in agricultural damages of thinly shelled almond cultivars, or what would now be about $102,800,000 in 2017. The navel orange worm moth is a member of the family Pyralidae, known as snout moths, many of which are agricultural pests. Amelois transistella has an incredibly wide host range, particularly of crops like walnuts, pistachios, and almonds, but also various citrus and even pomegranate. It has an extremely high resistance to mycotoxins such as aflatoxin B1 and ochratoxin A, produced by aspergillus and other pathogenic fungi, and even grows better on plant tissue contaminated with such fungi. Due to the way the larvae feed on fruit through grazing, large wound surface areas occur which increase infection by opportunistic fungi greatly. In this way, aspergillus and the navel orange worm moth may be considered to have a mutualistic relationship. Similarly, damage from the codling moth, Cydia pomonella, can also exacerbate navel orange worm moth infestations by providing easier access to the insides of fruit as younger larvae. White, shiny eggs are laid in small groups. During incubation, eggs become pink and then reddish-orange. Total egg production, per female, ranges from 3 to 244, with an average of approximately 85. At 27.7 degrees Celsius, the incubation period is about 5 days. As the larvae feed, they produce silk, and the interiors of figs and dates that have been occupied by them are littered with dried, frass pellets. Larval development increases with higher humidity. At 55% relative humidity, they take 55 days to develop, but at 95% the development quickens to 22 days. Pupation lasts for about 7 days. Management techniques are being developed constantly, but they do depend on the crop species in question. One of the most important aspects of the navel orange worm moth control, in nut production at least, is biosecurity through hygienic procedures that include sanitizing the orchards of leftover fruiting tissue, called mummies, both on the ground and on the trees. In December of 2004 in Madera County, California, 30,000 pistachios were collected from the ground and 9,250 were collected from trees post-harvest at SNJ Ranch. Almost 8% of the total ground harvested and almost 4% of the tree harvested nuts were infested with navel orange worm, and this represents a significant reinfestation risk. It has also become clear that in addition to being resistant to a couple mycotoxins, several navel orange worm moth populations have also been observed to be resistant to some of the most common pyrethroids utilized against them in similar moths, such as bifenthrin. It has been posited that the physiological traits that allow navel orange worm moths to process and resist these pesticides are also related to adaptation to new hosts by processing plant compounds that could be toxic, though there are various traits among the Californian diaspora, conferring advantages as they develop locally. Radio frequencies of sufficient strength to heat walnuts, for example, to 55 degrees Celsius can achieve 100% mortality of navel orange worm moth larvae, but require dedicated machinery to accomplish this task. Many biocontrol agents exist, such as the commercially available parasitic wops Goniasnus lignari, Capetosomopsis plethorica, and various Habrobrachin species, as well as the predator bugs Phytochorus relativus and Phytochorus californicus. However, they often require supplementation with other management practices. Two cultural practices are especially important. Effective removal with destruction of mummy nuts in fall or winter, also known as sanitation, and early harvest with rapid removal of nuts from the orchard floor, 
These are essential components of an effective naval orange worm management strategy. Decreasingly effective insecticide treatments are often needed if these practices are not carried out in situations with high naval orange worm numbers, or when naval orange worm may emigrate from neighboring orchards and crop fields. When infested plants of alternate hosts are harvested, naval orange worm moths may migrate into nearby orchards. Treating border rows may be adequate to prevent the moths from infesting almond crops when naval orange worm moth numbers are moderate or less populous. Sprays are timed, used in tandem with egg traps or pheromone traps, in conjunction with degree day tracking and hole split monitoring. Pheromone traps are used to monitor the flights of male moths specifically. Pheromone lures are placed into delta or wing traps and hung in the tree canopies at approximately 6 to 8 feet in late February to early March, at a rate of one trap per 50 acres and at least two traps per orchard. On a weekly basis, record the number of moths detected in each trap in relation to its location. Importantly, the naval orange worm moth and the meal moth, Peralis ferinalis, are both attracted to the same pheromone lures and resemble each other mildly. Naval orange worm moths are less abundant in the Sacramento and northern San Joaquin Valley, and more abundant in the mid and southern San Joaquin Valley. Environmental conditions, proximity to sources of infestation, and effectiveness of sanitation practices impact the potential for damage regardless of growing region. Some sources recommend harvesting nuts as soon as good removal can be achieved, as when 100% of nuts are at hole split at the 6 to 8 foot level of tree canopy. Early harvested cultivars such as nonpareil can greatly mitigate infestation pressure if nuts are harvested before the second or third generation. Softly shelled almond cultivars such as Moyar de Tarragona, Neplus, Fetus, Nonpareil, Carmel, and Sonora are much more susceptible to naval orangeworm larval damage. Hard shelled almond cultivars and those with a tight seal such as Peerless, Boot, Marcon, and Feralise are much more resistant to the naval orangeworm damage.